In this video, let's look at OLM OCR. This is an open source tool designed for high throughput conversion of PDFs and other documents into plain text while preserving natural reading order. It supports tables, equations, handwriting and more. This is from Allen AI. Uh, so I have uploaded a handwritten document over here. So this is a handwritten document and this is the OCR output. Um, so what is special about OLM OCR is that it makes use of page metadata, which is what, what they call as document anchoring. Okay. So this is a novel prompting technique that leverages available metadata in bond digital PDFs with the fine tuned 7 billion parameter vision language model to achieve results competitive with closed commercial solutions at a fraction of cost. That is what is the OLM OCR system. Okay. So what is this document anchoring? So if I quickly go to what is document anchoring over here in this paper where they've explained this approach. So document anchoring processes PDF document images via the Py PDF library. It tries to extract a representation of the page structure from the underlying PDF. All of the text blocks and images in the page are extracted, including positional information. Uh, starting with the most relevant text blocks and images, they are sampled and added to the prompt of the visual language model. So because of this, what happens is that, uh, you know, it results in significantly fewer hallucinations. Prompting with just page image was prone to models completing uh, unfinished sentences or to invent larger text when the image data was ambiguous. So because of this document anchoring, uh, it helps with quality on bond digital documents, right? So that is the advantage over here. Okay. Now, if you go to um, OCR over here, what they are saying is that this particular um, toolkit, which they have, which they have optimized for inference, you can uh, deploy it on your own GPU at an estimated cost of just $1.190 USD per million pages. Okay. That's what they're saying over here. Uh, so they have put the estimate like this. It is like 3000 tokens per second, dollars 2.69 per H 100 GPU. Average page has 650 output tokens and you have 20% overhead. So that is what they are doing over here. And they've also compared it over here with other commercial available OCRs in terms of cost. Uh, you know, they've not compared it with Gemini. They have compared it with GPT 4.0 over here. All right. Whereas GPT 4.0, the cost is uh, this much. All right. Uh, so that is what they've done over here. Okay. Uh, so I also tried another input over here where I uploaded a safety sheet document of a medicine. Uh, so this has a lot of tabular data. Uh, so if you look at the OCR output over here, it is quite good. Uh, one thing which I noted over here is that when you have some tables like this, for example, this table, right? If you see there is this paracetamol and there is this value 10392 over here. So if you look at that output, I kind of found it missing over here, but it has actually captured the other parts of the table quite well over here. All right. So over here also this paracetamol value is uh, this particular value is missing. And if I go to the next page also somewhere over here, I saw a similar issue. So yes, in handling tables, it may not be that great, but yeah. So over here, if you see what happens is that, you know, it brings this chemical name paracetamol this thing, but this particular line is not captured over here. If you see in the output, you can also deploy this on a collab notebook because this is a 7 billion parameter model. Uh, so what they've done is that for the uh, what do you call which, uh, VLM, they have used Quen uh, 7, uh, VL7B instruct checkpoint and that they have fine tuned basically over here. So it's a fine tuned Quen to VL multi-model uh, 7 billion instruction model, okay, which is their vision language model. Uh, the weights are actually released on hugging face. You can uh, take this code and you can try it out. So that is what I've done over here. Uh, if you were to run the OLM OCR system as such, which they have, you need to do some kind of, you need to install some uh, dependencies for popular utils and additional fonts for rendering PDF images. It requires at least 20 GB of GPU RAM, 30 GB of free disk space. Uh, so what I've done is that on Collab, I've created a GPU instance A100. So this has around, uh, you know, 40 GB of RAM. And if you see G, uh, when I'm running, it takes close to 21.9 GB of GPU RAM. Okay. Uh, so what you need to do over here is first you need to update this popular utils uh, library over here. Once you do that, you have to install OLM OCR. After installing OLM OCR, uh, basically you are uh, you have to uh, initialize the model like this. So it is actually uh, Quen 2 VL for conditional generation. This is the OLM OCR 7 billion 0225 preview. This is the model which has been released, right? And the processor is again uh, Quen VL 7 billion instruct. You know this particular model uh, processor uh, for uh, prompts and other things. Right, and you are putting it onto the GPU. Uh, so over here, what is done over here in this uh, demo example is you are actually uh, grabbing a sample PDF. Basically, this paper, 
okay uh, so i took this particular paper over here this is actually a copy of the code so i have just done that over here what i am doing over here which is different from this code is that i am trying it on a different page over here so then what i am doing is that first we need to build the prompt right we need to rasterize this particular paper so i am looking at page 5 of this particular paper so if i go to page 5 why did i choose this particular page uh, you know page 5 has this particular uh, uh, what do you call table over here so i wanted to see how it does uh, extraction on this particular table so this is page 5 so first what i do over here is that you need to rasterize convert that page into an image for the vlm you also have to get metadata for that uh, particular page so that is what is the anchor text which you are obtaining over here and then you build this fine tuning prompt and you uh, you know send both the image and prompt to your vlm okay by applying the chat template you are sending it to the vlm and you are generating the output so when you print the output it looks something like this right so this is all the metadata which is obtained from the uh, pdf page using pi pdf okay and then when you print it it shows like this over here we characterize the openness of vlm based on attributes open weights open data so if you go over here it is this particular thing we characterize this thing so if you look at over here the output is only 50 tokens that is because over here i said max new tokens is equal to 50 so i again repeat this code where i'm increasing the max new tokens to 4096 for the same page and over here if you see in the table output you will see over here is that it has pulled all the text and then it is actually pulling this uh table also right so we have this table like you know category model vlm llm backbone vision encoder so if you go to this page you have this basically category model vlm llm backbone vision encoder right and then you have open weights open data plus code basically this particular this line so it is actually pulling that line over here and then it is pulling that particular text okay so it is actually doing an ocr on this part of the uh, pdf okay and it is giving me this table output quite well over here okay so i wanted to try it on the next page also right because here you have these tables so i again write the same code where i'm you know converting the base page number six okay to an image and i'm also getting the metadata of that page and then i'm building the fine tuning prompt applying the uh, text on that particular processor on these messages and i am giving it to the model and generating the output over here okay so if you look at that output basically this is the metadata which is coming from pi pdf uh, and then with this metadata the document anchoring prompt is built and uh, you know it is sent to the model along with the image of that particular page rasterized image over here if you see uh, it would have actually you know got all your benchmarks okay so that particular tables it is extracting it is maintaining that position and all those stuff and it is able to get the output for example if you see cloud 3 opus uh, so if you go over here cloud 3 opus the, these are the numbers 88 80 66.7 right so those numbers you can see it over here okay uh, so this is an interesting ocr system so you can actually deploy this ocr on your hardware uh, that is what they are saying at a competitive cost compared to other closed models okay uh, so over here in this particular uh, ocr system what they are saying is that a prompting strategy to get a really good natural text parsing using chat, uh, chat gpt so they have code for that as well yeah, gpt 4.0 as well fine tuning code for quen 2 vl that's what they are released over here um, this is their processing millions of pdfs through a fine tuned model using sg lang so this is optimized inference uh, this thing so all these things uh, they have actually released over here in their olm ocr toolkit okay so you can go and try this out so this gives an option for another uh, open ocr open source ocr for you to try for your tasks hope this video is useful see you in another video i'll be putting the link to this particular notebook uh, in the description of the video you can check it out